I'm now joined by Frank Tosillo, CTO of S&P Global Market Intelligence. Frank, such a pleasure to be with you today. Well, thank you, Ryan, and thank you for inviting me to this great event here. Frank, at S&P Global, you serve clients across industries into academia. From your position as CTO, what should companies and leaders be doing now in order to better position themselves for future growth? For us, and what we see in the industry is really about data and technology at, at the forefront. Um, if you're not harnessing the power of your data aligned with the, the scale of the modernized technology that you see in cloud and working with companies like Snowflake, you're not going to be able to create the right level of decision making and create insight off of the data that you have to support that decision making. So it starts at that level. I believe that on the technology front, we're talking about you know, effectively the infrastructure side of the scale, cloud being uh, pivotal in that, in that way. Uh, for instance, we spent um, about five years transitioning out of our on-prem data centers to cloud so that we can then start to harness the, the data that we may manage at a, on, on a daily basis, the petabytes of information. If you flip to data transformation in the in industry, or I say digital transformation in the industry, excuse me, that's the second focus where companies are trying to evolve into the next generation of technology to support that data scale. And again, like I said, it's not just a transformation on the infrastructure side, it's a transformation into your data assets that you're leveraging to create better analytics and services. Of course, that's lit. next level is your AI story that you're hearing now. I think um, uh, what I would call AI-ready data, or being able to create data that is um, crafted in a way that could be consumed into the, these new machines that are coming out. And what that, that technology will provide, the new machines or AI machines, is new insight again. Deeper analytics, better decision making for everyone in the marketplace. I'm so glad you mentioned AI, Frank. The excitement is clearly all around us here at Snowflake Summit. How does AI Data Cloud's ease of use allow S&P to deliver insights for your customer base around the globe? Yeah, so you know, the Data Cloud is all about making things shareable and accessible, uh, being able to leverage the, um, the, 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 the common technology stacks both between us and our customers. I think that's really important that what we build and curate and create as metadata around that data set is visible to customer cons for customers to consume and build into their analytics processing. So it's all about the ease of use and the kind of the, the deeper level of application knowledge you can put on top of the data to make, again, those decisions possible. Great to hear, Frank, thank you so much. Given your role as CTO, what advice would you like to share with regards to implementing AI and what trends are you noticing across the marketplace? Yeah, this is always uh, an interesting topic because uh, most companies will start off, and many of my peers in the industry will go to the POC stage where they will go and invest in ID8 over many different use cases to understand the technology. And I think we've seen that very clearly in the industry. Uh, They've, they've really focused on conversational AI, being able to do NLP type searching uh, capabilities in a bot uh, fashion. But what's really interesting is when you're building these things out, you start realizing ROI matters. What's the return on investment in all this uh, ideation that's occurring? And when you move from POC to production, you want to stop and start getting into real evaluation of the technology. And we're finding um, being able to evaluate certain models to use for certain use cases. Are they the right model for the particular use case that you want to apply? Is it at the right cost point? How are you going to industrialize the capability, uh, not from, again, your little sandbox environment, but to actual production deliverables where you're de delivering a capability for a customer? All of those things matter now, and in the, in, in the start, it wasn't the case. In the start, it was go play, ideate, figure out what the technology can do for your various use cases. Now it's more kind of strategic. Understand the specific use cases we're going to get the best value on and make sure that it's creating the levels of efficiency and productivity that the industry expects. Great insights, Frank. Thank you so much. As you look out over the coming months, Frank, what's your primary objective and what's next for S&P Global? Oh, uh, client-centric. Being very, very client-centric, first of all. Our objectives are to very much focus on our customer use cases and try, drive efficiency for them um, through the advancements and innovation of technology that we bring out at, at of S&P Global. Uh, we want to sit behind the customer, I like to say, and understand how to make those efficiencies come to reality. Leveraging our data um, estate, 
layering in the AI technologies that you're hearing about, but making it a real reality, not just a, a general conversation, not just a, uh, a toy, but something really that benefits a customer's workflow. And I think we see in the industry, just one more point on that, the, very much about um, being able to help a customer deliver value, but we're kind of building these things outside of what a customer normally does in a workflow scenario. So sitting behind a customer, making sure we're making their existing workflows more efficient, and delivering that innovation and value for them to create new insight. Great to hear, always putting the customer first, Fred. Yes, customer first. I realize we've covered a lot, but before we wrap, how can the audience learn more about everything S&P Global is doing? Oh yeah, you want to go to spglobal.com for sure. Uh, you know, I, I point people to actually our marketplace. There's uh, the marketplace site, which uh, provides insight of all the data assets and capabilities that we deliver to our customer on the data side. But if you go to spglobal.com, you'll find just an enormous amount of information on the products and services that we support for the financial services industry and beyond in our uh, mobility products and our industrials products and uh, Platts and, uh, Connect and other solutions in the, uh, the ecosystem. Such a pleasure, thank you so much for joining me on Data thank, Cloud Now. It's thank you for having me, yes, thank you. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green, and this is Data Cloud Now. <laughs>